Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the channel today. We're going to walk through the garden and see what's blooming and I'm going to cut some flowers to bring inside to refresh my vases. These flowers I cut just two days ago and they're still looking really nice. These daffodils are two weeks old probably, maybe even a little older and they definitely need replaced. This bunch here is about a week old. They still look pretty good. There might be a couple that need taken out and I'm going to refresh the water, but they still look pretty nice. These ranunculus are opening up fully and these tulips right here are gorgeous. They have frilled little edges, still looking good. Anemones right here still have room to open up even more. This group I also just cut two days ago and they are looking amazing. These ranunculus are so beautiful. They look like roses, but you get them very early spring. And the tulips are starting to open up. Just a quick look at the seed room. Here I have some Wizard of Oz dahlias that I planted up early. And I'm really hoping that I can get some cuttings off of these so I can propagate them. These are my Snapdragon seedlings. I'm very behind with these because my first round didn't do well. So I switched my potting mix up that I'm using and these ones are doing much better. Here I've got some nasturtium, drumstick, hyssop, St. John's wort. These silk warts do not look good. I'm not sure if I'll plant these or not. And some black eyed Susan. Over here I have several trays of eucalyptus going. My eucalyptus from last year grew extremely slow, so I'm not sure if I'll have better luck this year and get any that I can use in arrangements or not. But they're also perennial if you protect them from the freeze, so I still have my eucalyptus from last year and just hoping to add to it each year. Here I have some straw flower and aster seedlings. These seedlings are amaranth. And I have tons of peppers and tomatoes ready, which aren't for the flower garden, but I do have a potager style garden where I mix my flowers and vegetables together. So as we walk through the flower gardens, you will inevitably see these food plants too. These celosia seedlings are doing really well. And here I have some hollyhocks. I've never grown those before, but I'm excited to give it a try. Right here, I have all different kinds of zinnias. I've also got a lot of basil, sage, and dill started. Those always look super pretty when you let them go to flower and add them to bouquets. Some ornamental grasses. This one right here I've never grown before, it's called Dara, and they're related to carrots. So the flower should look kind of like Queen Anne's lace, but have like a pinkish purplish hint to them. And these ones are stuck. This is the tray of snow puff seedlings that you saw me plant in a previous video. They're doing really good. You can see they're nice and strong. Got some Queen Anne's lace, baby's breath. These are my onions. So again, they'll be intermixed within the flowers. This right here is my eucalyptus from last year. So you can see how slowly it grew. I'm not sure why, but I brought them inside over the winter and they're doing well. Here's a few more back here. 
They're putting on new growth, so I have hope that they'll do okay. Here's all the willow that I planted in a previous video. Doing really good. These daffodils I love because they have multiple tiny little florets on each stem. However, these do not smell good. So I won't be planting these again and I'm not bringing them inside for arrangements. Just leaving them out here for the pollinators. They're tucked in here. This is a Swiss chard plant. So once these daffodils are done, this will have room to really come up and produce a lot of food. These also have multiple florets per stem and I love them and these actually smell really really good. So I'll probably be cutting these today and bringing them inside. There's another little Swiss chard plant tucked in here. Little baby. I've also got some chives planted way in here. There they are. Those chives will have room to grow up as soon as the daffodils are done. Okay, at the base of this trellis, I do have some sweet peas planted in here. Those are really pretty flowers. I do have my peas and sweet peas separated because sweet peas are poisonous and obviously peas we eat. I've got kale and I have a lot of my other kale covered up under this row cover to keep the cabbage moths off of them. Here's what it looks like underneath there with the kale. I also have a lot of carrots planted right here. And then in front of that, I have radish. Some of these are about ready to eat. There's some bug damage happening on these, but hopefully the radishes themselves are okay. Here is one of my brand new roses that you saw me plant in an earlier video. It's got tons of new growth. It's coming up very nicely. The variety on this one is Strawberry Hill. The ranunculus are heavily producing right now. They're cut and come again flower. So you can cut on them and they just keep coming back. I did plant this full bed with ranunculus, but a lot of them did come up. So I've added calendula to this bed. Here's another ranunculus bed. And you can cut these when they're like this. They're kind of soft and you can see the color. And eventually they'll open up in the vase and you can enjoy that inside and just kind of watch them. Like you can see how open this one is right here. It's all the way open. But the stem on that one's too short really to do much with, so I'll leave them out here for pollinators. You get the camera to focus. Now at the edge of this ranunculus bed, I have sweet peas planted at the bottom of this trellis. I've got some beets planted that are coming up. Oops. And these are leeks. They're planted way too close together, but I 
As I thin them, we just eat them like green onions. Cilantro, spinach. Here is the third ranunculus bed. They're just so beautiful. Look at that one. There we go. This bed right here is mostly food crops. I have some kale and kohlrabi. And these, let's check this one because I forget. More leeks. Those are doing fabulous. But you can see right tucked in here I have a new rose plant. So this rose will grow hopefully nice and tall and provide some shade to these cool weather crops. And also these cool weather crops will not need to stay in here much longer because once it gets hot, they won't do well and I'll pull them out. So then that rose will have plenty of space to grow. And next year, once it's more established, I won't plant much more than lettuce around it. Lettuce has very shallow roots, so it shouldn't disturb it. This cilantro right here is going crazy. I've never dried cilantro or preserved it, but I'm gonna need to figure something out because it's taking over. I have more kale. And more kohlrabi, some cabbages, that kind of thing. And then again, at the edge of this trellis, some sweet peas. Also, that food bed I just showed you with all the kale and cilantro, I do keep covered up to keep cabbage moths off. And also, it provides it a little bit of cooling function because it's giving it just a tiny bit of shade. This bed has a rose. This one's more established. I transplanted it from my other house when we moved here last year. Last year it didn't look very good. They don't like to be moved, but you can see here, I already have a bud starting. Here's another one. On the edge of this rose, I have a small kale, some spinach, got sage, calendula, and chives. And the majority of this bed is anemones and lettuce. And I have them covered up with shade cloth. They were looking pretty wilty yesterday. We hit 87 degrees here in North Carolina, zone 7B. So I gave them some shade, but we'll take that off and I'll show you how the anemones are doing. They're still producing, but they're definitely slowing down compared with the cooler early spring, late winter months. They're doing okay, but I think they're coming to an end soon. But I do still have some new growth coming on, some blooms. So I might get a few more weeks to a month out of them. The lettuce is doing really good. We need to eat this <laughs> soon. I did have a rose right here that didn't survive when I transplanted it from the old house. So I do have an open spot for something right there. Here's the second bed of anemones. It's looking a lot better than that other one.
Just gorgeous color on those. Another rose transplanted from my previous home. This one's doing the best out of all of them. It's nearly as tall as me. And all of these reddish colored shoots are new growth. And planted underneath this rose is parsley. Now I have a hard time growing parsley outside. Our monarch butterflies love it and almost every year they will have caterpillars in here which is perfectly fine with me. I grow parsley to eat inside under my grow lights and then all the parsley I plant out here is fine to, for the monarch butterflies. This is a blueberry plant. It needs to go in the ground really bad. Just haven't gotten to it. Now this is a good example of, this is thyme, but it's gone to flower. Now if you wanted to eat this, you wouldn't really want it to go to flower, but this is beautiful in arrangements. So I love letting my herbs go to flower. I don't want to disturb mama bird too much, but I do have a bird nest in here. Let's see them. There they are, gorgeous. So cute. All right, these tulips are so pretty. I just can't get over the colors. Definitely a lot of these coming inside with me today. I still have some of the white ones left. Here's one with really pretty frilled edges. But you can see most of these I've cut and so they are no more. This next tulip bed though has quite a few left. I love these dark maroon ones. We've got some white ones. Here's a really pretty variegated variety, multiple colors. And again, some of these dark maroons, so pretty. Now this section right here was open. So I have some potatoes planted here. And on the very end, are my food peas for eating, which I have separated from all of my sweet peas. So hopefully these will start climbing both the trellis and the bamboo teepees. And I'm looking forward to blossoms and food production.
in my kitchen now and the flower haul we got is just amazing. There's so many blooms, there's so many colors, and I feel so lucky that I'm gonna get to put all of these all over my house this afternoon. So let's take a closer look at them.